Hi, my name is Rebecca Shore. I'm a bariatric surgeon and the medical director for the Center of Weight Loss and Bariatric Surgery at Haywood Hospital. I'd like to welcome all of you to our information session and congratulate you on taking that first step in addressing your obesity and addressing your overall health. We hope you find the session helpful. Welcome to the information session at Haywood Hospital for our bariatric program. Um, here are the, here's the picture of the doctors that are available to you. Uh, Dr. Roy Shen, Dr. Douglas Corey Campbell, and myself, Dr. Rebecca Shore, have been together for several years and we're just bringing on board Caitlin Polistina, who you see on the left side of the photo. So what is obesity? The National Institute of Health defines obesity as a disease of excess body fat. Obesity is chronic and progressive. It's a disease process that results from multiple environmental and genetic factors. Obesity is also associated with increased risks of diabetes, sleep apnea, high blood pressure, heart disease, and many, many other medical problems. How does obesity affect the United States? 35% of adults in the United States are obese. 17% of American children are obese. The CDC predicts that 13 of our 50 states are gonna have greater than 60% obesity by 2030. The things that contribute to the problem of obesity in the United States are poor diet and decreased uh, physical activity. Obesity has been found to be the second leading cause of death behind tobacco in the US. So how do we define obesity? It's a body mass index of 35 to 40 or greater. So the body mass index is used as a screening tool for obesity. It is a measurement of your weight in relation to your height. So weight in kilograms over height in meters squared. This is an easy thing to calculate on your phone. You can just search it and put in your weight in pounds and height in centimeters and it'll calculate it for you. If you aren't able to do that before you come to our center, we can help you. Your body mass index of greater than 35 is characterized as obese and a body mass index of greater than 40 is characterized as morbidly or severely obese. Here is an example of a chart for your calculating your body mass index. It shows a woman of a height of five feet in six inches, weighing 250 pounds, and a calculated BMI of 40. Obesity is a metabolic disease. It affects your metabolism. And when we think about your entire overall health, there isn't a system in your body that is not affected. For your lungs or your pulmonary system, it can affect you by it creating sleep apnea, problems with ventilation when you're walking, or limiting the amount of expansion you have of your lungs. For your liver, it can cause non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is also called steatosis, and this can lead to cirrhosis. It can create gallstones and gallbladder disease. It can create trouble with your gynecologic organs, causing infertility or polycystic ovary syndrome. It can cause damage to your joints and osteoarthritis. It can cause chronic skin infections. Rare cases of increased cranial pressure, cataracts are common, heart disease, pancreatitis, and cancer. Breast, uterus, cervix, colon, esophagus, pancreas, kidney, and prostate are all increased in um, obesity. So why should you consider weight loss surgery? We know that diet and exercise alone are not an effective long-term strategy for obesity. Benefits of weight loss surgery are outweigh the risks of staying more morbidly obese. And the NIH consensus conference showed that permanent weight change is almost impossible for severely obese patients with the exception of surgery. 
surgery has become an accepted and effective approach for consistent permanent weight loss for the morbidly obese patient. What happens after weight loss surgery? The diseases that we reviewed in the slide um, prior show that type 2 diabetes decreases by 95%, hypertension 92%, cardiac function improvement by 95%, osteoarthritis symptoms by 82%, sleep apnea 75%, stress incontinence 87%, GERD, which is heartburn, 98%, and elevated cholesterol, 97%. So who can qualify for surgery? Patients with a body mass index of 40 or greater, or patients who are having a body mass index of 35 to 39 with one or more of these medical problems, diabetes, high blood pressure requiring two medications, sleep apnea, or heart disease. Aside from the first criteria, you have to have had a trial of medically supervised weight loss before considering surgery. The surgery needs to be performed as, at a center like ours with a multidisciplinary team. And the patient has to be able to commit to long-term surveillance. So who is a surgical candidate? So a person who meets the criteria we just reviewed, we prove that there is no endocrine cause for your obesity we make sure that there is no issue with psychological illness where you wouldn't be able to cope with the surgery. If you've had a problem with alcohol addiction or drug addiction, we need a uh, year uh, from that last issue. Uh, you have to quit smoking. The whole team has to agree that you're a good candidate which includes the surgeon, the dietitian, our social worker, and the physician's assistant. And then you have to be dedicated to lifestyle change and follow-up. What do we offer here at Haywood Hospital? We offer the sleeve gastrectomy. This restricts the amount of food the stomach can hold. Um, the major part of the stomach, which produces hormones responsible for stimulating hunger, is removed from the digestive system. This is not a reversible surgery as that portion of the stomach is, is completely removed from your body. The gastric bypass is also offered here at Haywood. It restricts the meal size. You feel full faster and longer, and it changes your, hormone hunger, um, your hunger hormones and insulin secretion. It shortens the intestines and affects nutrient absorption. The sleeve gastrectomy. With this surgery, we expect about 50 to 60% of your excess weight to be lost. This surgery removes 85% of the stomach and creates a very small sleeve. This restricts the volume of food that you can eat and makes you full feel full faster. It does not change uh, your metabolism like the gastric bypass does, is not considered a malabsorptive surgery. However, we do follow your vitamin levels and occasionally we do need to replace vitamins such as iron and B12. But no surgery is done on the small intestines. The advantages of this surgery is that it is faster. It's considered a safer surgery. There's less uh, vitamin deficiencies than the gastric bypass. We don't typically see ulcers as we do in the gastric bypass. There's no issues with the small intestines, such as small bowel obstruction or internal hernias or adhesions. And we can still look at the stomach, small bowel and bile ducts with an endoscope. The disadvantages, it's very permanent. The portion of the stomach that we disconnect is removed from the abdomen and given to the pathologist so we can never bring that back and the long-term weight loss is not known for beyond eight to ten years we do believe the weight regain will be higher with the sleeve than the gastric bypass here's an example of the gastric bypass the expected weight loss is about 65 to 70 percent of your excess weight it creates a small stomach pouch which restricts the amount of food you can eat. 
and allows you to feel full faster and longer. The food also bypasses the old stomach and part of the small intestine, which creates malabsorption of some of the calories and nutrients and changes the hunger hormones and insulin. Advantages of having the gastric bypass, it has been done since the 1960s, so it's considered a gold standard. It's the longest and most thorough follow-up. The weight loss is faster, the weight loss is a little greater, and dumping syndrome means that you don't tolerate sweet, sweets well, so you tend to avoid those after the surgery. Disadvantages, it does require stapling of the stomach and rerouting of the intestine. It's not easily reversible. There are some uh, vitamin nutrient deficiencies, such as iron and B12. We can see ulcers or bleeding after the surgery. It's possible requires reoperation for adhesions or bowel obstruction. And the dumping syndrome um, limits your ability to eat sweets, even in small proportions. So the results of these two bariatric surgeries are weight loss obviously is the number one um, goal is to get rid of your disease of morbid obesity, but it also reduces and improves medical problems called comorbidities. Blood pressure, diabetes, sleep apnea, heart disease, high cholesterol and joint pain are some of the major um, improvements that you see. It increases the longevity. The data shows that a gastric bypass increases your life by at least five years and it improves your quality of life. Uh, you're able to do more of the things that you enjoy. You're treated as an equal among your peers. And uh, you can do things like sit in a Red Sox seat at the game or buy clothes in a store. Surgical approaches. All the gastric bypass and sleep procedures are performed using the laparoscopic approach, which is the small incision surgery. Um, this is typically five small incisions. Advantages of doing it with the laparoscopic approach, there's fewer wound complications, lower risk of infections, lower risk for hernias, which is decreased 20 to 40% compared to the open procedure, less bleeding, less pain, faster recovery, and the surgeon has a better view of the anatomy, uh, making it safer for all patients. It's also faster. What to expect after surgery? So after you have this surgery, you'll be in the hospital for one to two nights. Uh, you'll come and visit with us every three months for the first year and every six months for the second year and then annually. I like to see you until I retire to know your success at 10 years or 20 years, but at least for two years, please. We check labs every three months for the first year, six months for the second year, and annually thereafter. And these include the vitamins that we're um, recommending. Plastic surgery, uh, a majority of our patients do seek plastic surgery. It's not an immediate part of our program. We ask that you are a year out from your weight loss surgery and weight stable before you seek plastic surgery. Um, and uh, we will help you pregnancy. We would like you to focus on yourself uh, for the first two years after the surgery um, and we can certainly guide you uh, with regard to this. Lifetime follow-up. Uh, so we do encourage you to take your vitamins throughout your recovery. There's some behavior modification that changes to keep you successful long term and support groups that are available to you. Take home message. This is not cosmetic surgery, it's a necessary surgery. Um, it's not the easy way out. You guys work very hard to get here and to recover from uh, your chronic illness. One procedure is not considered better than the other. So each person has a reason to choose a sleeve or a gastric bypass and we support you in your decisions. And surgery is only a small part of the whole process. The Center for Weight Loss and Bariatric Surgery here at Haywood Hospital is accredited. It's a comprehensive surgery and we have undergone a, a rigorous accreditation progress, process. It's a multidisciplinary team. We have 
for fellowship trained surgeons, dietitians, social workers, physicians assistants, and the support of other specialists within the hospital system. All surgeries are performed laparoscopically. We also provide revisional or corrective surgeries, such as conversions from bands or band corrections. Medical specialties available, we have the support of your primary care, cardiology team, pulmonary, endocrine, and gastroenterology. We su uh, supply support groups for you, and we do obtain your insurance approval for you. How do I get a surgery date? So the first step is this uh, information session. Then we will do the weight loss surgery, medical education and testing. You'll have a behavioral assessment, nutritional counseling, medical evaluation from your primary care or specialist for clearance, consultation with a surgeon to decide on your surgery, and then the insurance approval. Um, and here is how you could contact us. Thank you for viewing this information with us here at Haywood Hospital. We are excited to see you in person here for our weight loss and bariatric program.